I started here, so now I will walk here. I want to. I want to try and battle all the Pokemon trainers at least. Oh, Sentru. Oh, too bad. Well, I got Wakey though. Wakey is way better than Sentru. But I kind of wanted to uh, get Drowsy. I, I kind of wanted to get Sentru as well. But definitely prefer Wakey above Sentru, man. Three plus escape ropes. Yeah. <laughs> You can. It's, I think someone was gonna hang him there on that rope or something. Escape life. Foo ha ha! I have never lost. Well, this will be your first then. Gambler. Gambler wants to fight. Gambler sends out Voltorb. Oh, it's our favorite friend. Pokemon. Um, let's go with Marcus. There goes Sonic Boom. See, even without lowering my defense, watch. That thing does 20... Hmm. Does Sonic Boom always do 20 damage? I start wondering. It's kind of like Dragon Rage. I think that's the, I think that's the case with uh, Sonic Boom. It always does 20 damage. Because I have had Sonic Boom hit me for like 6 or 7 times now in this game. And it was always 20 HP. So I guess it's kind of similar to uh, Dragon Rage. Yeah, Wakey is so not ready yet to battle these Pokemon. Fine whip. There we go, easy mode. Out of my way, boy. Wakey grow to level 12. Wakey learn disable. Disable is not a very good one. Gen 2 looks harder if I look the horn drill chaos. Yeah, horn horn drills are dangerous. Gambler, my first loss, I told you. See, I can see the future as well, man. Okay, I've, did I battle this guy? You can't be a coward in the world of Pokemon. Okay, now we can go till that bush, let's see. So here, did I battle this guy? Yeah. Just gonna zigzag so I make sure I get all the trainers. Careful, I'm laying down some... What? Bubbles? Babels? What did it say? Couldn't see it. Oh, cables. That's what he said, because it's an engineer. It's got magnemite. I mean, even if these things self-destruct, as long as I have enough HP and they're not going to kill me. So whenever I'm going to the uh, electricity plant later in the game, I just need to make sure my health is always near full. Cables, yeah. I didn't read it that one for a sec. But the moment, he, the moment I saw his name, like Engineer, I knew it was Cables. Didn't read it properly. I thought it said Bubbles first. Go away with your Sonic Boom. Drillhorn plus Explode are horrible. Yeah, but Drillhorn can literally one-hit KO you. And Explosion does uh, just a lot of damage. That was electric. Flower got 1,000 gold. He's also pretty rich. I'm not that rich, though. I'm a mechanic. He's an engineer. I don't earn that much money, man. I cannot just do one battle and earn, like, 1,000, really. Now I gotta watch out. This is a level 12 Pokemon, so I'm just gonna kill it, because I don't want to run away with uh, Wakey. Thing is, if you run away and it fails to run, he will get a hit on you. Since Wakey is still pretty weak. You know what's the difference between uh, Drowsy and, uh, I mean, Hypno and uh, Alakazam? Alakazam is a real, really powerful attacker, but he has horrible defense. Well, Hypno actually has decent defense. His attack might be a little bit lower, 
but his defense is a lot higher. Well, I remember I always used Horn Drill with my Nido King, and it would just one hit KO. It literally said in the text, one hit KO. Okay, so this is where I was, so I want to go. Okay, so this is my last time going back. Watch out for live wires. Oh, we got another electric guy. <clears throat> Engineer wants to fight. <laughs> I forgot that sound, man. Yeah, it is one hit KO. That's what I'm saying. It's dangerous. But explosion isn't. Explosion just does a lot of damage, but it's not a one hit KO. Don't have many vine whips left anymore. I'm gonna switch over to tackle. I want to learn uh, Giga Drain or Mega Drain. I don't know which one it is in this game. Wakey is now level 13. Good job. Vine whip. This is the last vine whip I have. I'm out of PP now. In my case, Gen 2 would be hard to beat. I already lost one Pokemon. Yeah, I know. I mean, there were definitely battles here where I could have lost my Pokemon. But I'm well prepared. Don't worry, I, I will do Gen 2 as well. I'm just now I'm doing um, green. And I'm not sure if I will do red or blue or go yellow or go straight to Generation 2. Will flowers change Pokemon? Um, I have to decide that. I'm not sure yet. Will flowers change Pokemon? Yeah, I will. Oh, that's a Magneton. I thought it said Magnemite. Should be okay, though. Potion here for a second. Nice healing there, damn. I'm not sure if this thing can learn self-destruct, man. I'm not about to. Will I'm not a willing to find out. Even though he's like 11 levels lower than me, explosion does a lot of damage. I mean, Generation Two introduced so many new mechanics. Generation One was an awesome game, but it's very simple. As in, uh, things you can do, etc. In Generation 2, a lot of things already open up as well. Enemy Magneton faded. Wakey, level 14. Sweet. I defeated the Engineer. Engineer, whoa, you spark plug. 900. Sweet. I think I got all the trainers now. There were a lot here. Well, I don't, I'm not complaining, though. Because that's extra XP. I, I am going back to the Pokemon Center now. I need to feel better for my streamings. Feel a bit sick. Yeah. Gen 2 will... Well, I am scared for the mill tank. I told you, man. Ghastly. Ghastly is the ultimate mill tank stopper. Just gonna level up Ghastly. Unfortunately, he cannot... E Unfortunately, he cannot evolve to Gengar. But even Hunter is pretty good. Another and any other Pokemon, <laughs> yeah. Well, you're gonna find a lot of OP Pokemon, though. You know what? You know what I'm afraid of in this game? Uh, Elite Four, man. Elite Four and Red at the end of the game. Because for me, I'm not sure if. Uh, where does Nuzlocke Lee stop? Does Nuzlocke Lee stop at uh, Elite Four, or does it stop after you beat Red? Because Red is so much more difficult. Than uh, Elite Four. Elite Four is a joke compared. To <coughs> Elite Four is a joke compared to Red. I think Elite Four is like level 50 Pokemon, but Red has level 80 Pokemon. Okay. 
Okay, my Pokemon are healed. That's good. Let's go. So we can finally go through here. Yeah, that's okay, though. Elite 4 has full restore, yeah, I know. But when I was a kid, I used to beat Elite 4 by using a lot of revives, etc. I don't have that ability now. When you catch lots of Pokemon, isn't it hard to think up names? No, I got Rick for that. In Lavender Town, there's a man who rates Pokemon nicknames. He will help you rename them too. All right, Rick, let's see what this, thing, what this guy thinks of your names. This is the guy that gives me the item finder, isn't it? Hi, remember me? I'm Prof Oak Aid. If you got 30 cans of Pokemon, I'm supposed to give you an item. Item finder. So, Flower, have you cut at least 30 cans? I can tell you I didn't. Let's see. Uh-oh, you have only cut 15 cans of Pokemon. You need 30 cans if you want the item finder. Yep, working on it. I'm looking for a Nidorino. Want to trade one for a Nidorina? Nope, I don't have one. Rick, look who's here. I don't think I can battle him yet. Let me see. I think we need a poker flute to wake him up. Now when he wakes up, he gets angry and starts attacking. A sleeping Pokemon blocks the way. I guess we're going back. I thought this was the way, man. Spiro. What attacks do I have? Pound. Okay, I need my psychic attacks before I start battling these Pokemon. Fury attack. Is that gonna be super effective against Marcus? Nope. Is that effective against him? No, it's not. Because sometimes, uh, I don't know, man, this game, I forget about... I forget about their uh, affinities, because in older generations, their affinities tend to change. Like a Magnemite should be a Steel Pokemon, but there's no Steel types in Pokemon 1. So it's messing up with my uh, what is effective and what is not. I should have known Fine Whip was not going to work on the flying Pokemon. That never changed. Uh, town map. We should go north from here, I think. Um... Did we catch a Pokemon on Route 6, Rick? I think we did, but I'm not certain. I'm gonna have to go to Route 6 in order to see if I did. Did I beat these guys? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got the Pokemon here. Yeah, this Route 6. But I'm pretty sure I did, because I also battled the trainer, so there's no way I wouldn't have caught a Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, I need to go to Route 9, I think. But where is Route 9 exactly? Here. Because, yeah, I did... It did Route 8. I'm not sure if I cut a Pokemon at Route 9, though. 
Probably should start writing these things down. We'll see. Once we're in Route 9, I, I, I should immediately notice if we caught a Pokemon there. grass here. Okay, no, I'm pretty sure we didn't go to Misty, right? Yeah, that's where I'm going. So I didn't catch a Pokemon here because I needed Cut to proceed, so definitely haven't caught a Pokemon here yet. But the Pokemon we encounter here is not very interesting. There's an Ekans, there's a Rattata, a Centru, and a Spearow. I already did. I already healed up, except for Marcus. Should be okay, though. Let me get on my bike. The bike is way too quick here. You have Pokemon with you. You're mine. I reckon these trainers have around level 20 Pokemon as well. Oddish. Yeah, level 18, so... Definitely will be fine. But maybe I should have healed for the PP at least, because I don't have Fine Whip anymore. Oh no, I do, huh? That's confusing. So I did went to the Poker Center, but then we went into another battle? Of course this big butt decides to uh, paralyze me. Well, I'm not gonna use a paralysis potion because you'll see this guy will paralyze me straight after I cure it. I'm really glad we got Hypno Man. That's the missing link in our team. Now we got a psychic Pokemon. I know I just choose a water Pokemon fighting a water uh, fighting a, 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 a grass Pokemon. But again, Gyarados is flying type as well, so that's gonna negate the uh, grass type moves, I think. This thing has four Pokemon, man. So far, there's only been like two trainers that have four Pokemon. This is this is one of them, and the other one was my rival. I don't think I've encountered any other people that have four Pokemon so far. Look, Absorb should be very effective against water, but thanks to the flying type, it's gonna negate it out. It's actually really useful. There we go. This guy's only got Oddishes and Bell Sprouts, that's all. Let's go, Fish Rick. Could you do me one more favor, Rick? Could you try and see how many Pokemon I need for... Um, XP share? It's gonna make my life a lot easier. Wakey grew to level 15. And Fish Rick grew to level 26, nice. There's a Pokeball. TM30. Which one is TM30? TM30. Uh, 
TM30 contains teleport. All right. Ooh, ha, ha. Great, I was bored, eh? Matchup. Wakey. Uh, fish rig, let's go. Karate chop. We got an Onyx here. I wonder if Onyx is a decent XP guy. Last time I saw an Onyx was when I was battling Brock. For our first badge. Rock Tro, yeah. Exactly, Rock Tro. The reason why I didn't use uh, Fish Rig. That's very effective against the flying type. Marcus grew to level 30. Sweet. And I need to remove that paralysis. Razor Leaf. Nice. It's actually, I was hoping for a new grass move. Um. I'm going to remove Potion Powder. Leech Sheet is still somewhat useful. But Potion Powder, not so much, man. Keep coming, eh? Oh, wait. I'm out of Pokemon. Flowers got 700. Nice. I'm loaded in money. Alright. Um, I'm going to do, I'm going to do two things here. First up, I'm going to save the game. Secondly, I'm going to use a paralysis heal. I bought, I popped. I bought quite a few of those for Lieutenant Surge, but I didn't need them in the end. What does this say? Route 9, Cerulean City Rock... Oh, there we go, there's Rock Tunnel. Who's that walking with those good-looking Pokemon? It's me, Mario. Junior trainer wants to fight. Growlithe. Man, everyone's teasing me with Growlithe. I want my Growlithe. I know you can catch Growlithe in that uh, abandoned house in Cinnabar Island. But it's probably going to be rare. Probably won't get it. I should have used Water Gun here. At least he flinched. The XP, all experience, all, is an item in the first generation of Pokemon games available. Pokemon red, blue, and yellow. You can pick the item up from one of Professor Oak's agents and get right of the future city. At least obtain 50 species. Damn, that's a lot, man. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that during my Nuzlocke challenge. I can get it in gold, maybe, if it, if it still is in gold. No, it's 50 catched. But including the evolved ones, but I'm at 15 right now, and I need 50. So, uh, yeah. Wakey, 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 wakey. I mean, I oh, it's Charmander. I still have a few Pokemon uh, that can evolve, but then I'll be closer to like 25 instead of 30 or 50. Look at this dude, he's got a Charmander, it's already level 21. Shouldn't it be evolved by now? I wish it was 50 seen, that would be easy. Normally 50 would be quite easy as well, but with Nuzlocke, no. Wakey grew to level 16. Right, need to start healing up a little bit. Let's see, which Pokemon? Marcus and Fishrick, both of them. Let's use some super potions here. one exactly 50 so that was used to the max 
And then this one. Which is 41, which is also still decent. This is going to be a lot of buildings. That is going to be a lot of buildings, so you can count Magic Garp as root. <laughs> I didn't quite get what you meant there, Rick, sorry. There we go, bye B drill. Roots are limited. Caves too. Yeah, I know. That's really limited. I know buildings are c counted separate. I know. But, uh, not Magikarp though. Because that was not... Well, technically it was a building, but it was just a Pokemon Center, so I'm not sure if that's the same, man. For me, that didn't really count. Maybe I should have, yeah? So I can do one more capture. I'll probably end up with another Redditor, so... Snorlax is a route, that's true. And he can't evolve either, so... I'm okay though, without the XP share. It's just gonna be a little bit more bothersome to level my Pokemon. But then again, I'm thinking too much in terms of uh, trying to get all the Pokemon, which I shouldn't be doing in this look anyway. Do we want uh, a Pokemon here? Let's see. We didn't catch one in Route 9 yet, so this will be my first catch. Let's go. It's a Spearow. I don't have a Spearow yet, I have a Pidgey. Spearow and Pharaoh, that's two Pokemon. Okay, let's... Uh, let's Hypnosis. I guess we can use Wakey to uh, start capturing this Pokemon. And he's growling, which is good. Yeah, I need to catch a lot of Pokemon in the cities as well with water. That's true. I'm, I also realized that do the fossils count as uh, a po I mean they count as Pokemon but uh, because I got the Amber from one city that means I already have that Pokemon from that specific city but then I also caught a Pokemon in Mount Moon and got a fossil so that's technically two Pokemon Well, I mean, that's where... Yeah, okay, so maybe I just have to choose one. Uh, I'm gonna have to search that up, man. Maybe you can search that on Nuzlocke Challenge, the fossils. How is that treated? Because I have no idea, honestly. Maybe you can check about the dome and the helix fossil. Basically, I had to get them in order to progress. But if I don't turn them into Pokemon, I should be okay. Yeah, because I already caught something in Mount Moon. I forgot what it was. No, I didn't catch anything. Because the Zubat died, which was my first encounter. So the question is, can I... Do the dome fossil and uh, where does it count as? Does it count as the place where you got the fossils or does it count as the place where you turn the fossils into Pokemon? If that's the case, I have to choose between Aerodactyl and 
Kabuto. Yeah, that's what I'm... Maybe you can check that in, uh... On the internet, on the Nuzlocke rules, if there's any, uh... Let me check that as well. Uh, you need to find a nickname for Spiro, Rick. Yes, if we count Dome as new, then it could be Cave or Lab, that's true. But if it's the Lab, I also have Aerodactyl, which then doesn't count. Alright, I'll name it Captain Jack. Let's see. Um, fossils, Nurse Lock Run. Question about fossils, here we go. To make it simple, you get the helix fossil from Mount Moon and revive it on Cinnabar Island. Do you count it as Cinnabar Island or Mount Moon Pokemon? I've always been flip-floppy on this kind of thing from run to run and decided to make a decision for good. Still trying to decide. I always count these type of Pokemon towards the place where you actually receive them. So in this case, it would be from Cinnabar. I do the same thing with eggs. Newer versions make this easy because you actually see where you obtain each Pokemon in their summaries. Uh... They were revived, so in my... Okay, you know what? Most people say um, they count it as where it's been revived. So that means the Ember Fossil and the Dome Fossil will count towards Cinnabar. So we're gonna have to make a choice. Go for Aerodactyl or go for Kabuto. So um, yeah, that's something we'll have to find out when we're there. So that means I'm safe when it comes when it comes to Mount Moon. So I'm just gonna count it as where I revive it. So I can't capture a Pokemon in Cinnabar Island, which I don't think you can even. Well, you could technically fish there, but Captain. Oh wait, Captain Jack. I'm gonna keep streaming till ten o'clock probably. That's when I'm gonna stop. Dome is filled? What do you mean the dome is filled? No, I mean, most people, they tend to count it towards um, where, where it's being revived. So if I revive it at Cinnabar, it should be fine because I, I haven't been there yet. Yeah, I got the dome in the cave, but it's not a Pokemon yet. I only get the Pokemon once I resurrect it at Cinnabar. And that's when it starts counting. For most people. So that's how I'm going to count it as well. Because right now it's just an item. It's not a, it's not a Pokemon yet. Fly Pokemon versus Cutter Straight. Yeah. Well, I already have Pidgeotto, and I have Gyarados, which are both flying types. I'm gonna have to make a choice when I get there. Right now, I'm not sure yet. I mean, Aerodactyl's a really good Pokemon. But so is Kabuto. But I think Aerodactyl starts at a higher level. How's my Pokemon HP doing? Alright, we're doing okay. I think I might go with Aerodactyl. Haha, ah, come on, dude. I don't know what, um... I don't know which attributes Kabuto ha have. I think it's water. 
Hiker wants to fight. All right, let's go. Hiker sends out Geodude. Wakey. Gyarados doesn't... Gyarados. Um, well, it's a flying type. I mean, it doesn't literally fly, but it is still a flying type. Oh, man. There's our first self-destruct. Come on, come on, come on. Don't die, don't die, don't die. I did not expect that self-destruct right there. Oh man, things got real. And Wakey learned Confusion, nice. I was afraid that explosion or self-destruct would kill me. And no, Onyx can't self-destruct. Yeah man, I, didn't, I really didn't think that thing would self-destruct, it had 4 HP. Flowers defeated Hiker. There we go. Ha ha ha. You beat me fair. Flowers got 735. Alright, let's go up and go right. And then go up. So many trainers here. I like it. Um, Might want to use the super potion on Gyarados now. That thing exploded into my face. Go, my super buck Pokemon. Let's see if uh, Wakey can start taking down some of these Pokemon now. He's got Confusion. Caterpie. It's level 20 though. Uh, well, let's try it. Confusion. See, that's what I mean. <laughs> Don't mess with Wakey, man. Confusion. Look at him. He's wrecking all of these Pokemon. Venonat. Hey, that's a new one. Uh, I'm not going to fight him with Wakey. Because that's a... I don't know what kind of Pokemon that is. But it's a dangerous one. I think it can use Confusion as well. Which might be effective. Razor Leaf. Alright. Tackle. Oh, that's very, very ineffective. I knew it was going to be ineffective, but I didn't know it was going to be that ineffective. I mean, sometimes even with a... It's not a very effective attack, it can still hurt quite a bit. This one just did nothing. Wakey grew to level 18. Maybe I'll get Hypno now. No, I think Hypno is quite a high level as well before it evolves. Kind of like Persian. I'm taking Rock Tunnel to go to Lavender. Well, there's still a lot of optional buildings as well, like you mentioned, Rick. There's the Ghost Tower. Um, there is... A lot. The, the abandoned thing on Cinnabar Gym. electric tower at the electricity plant that's where Zapdos is by the way you know I could use repel all the way repel all the way through and then capture Zapdos at the end that counts it's my first Pokemon that's it that I could do that that's what you can use repels for No, I cannot catch Marowak, because it doesn't allow you to, because, uh, I don't know, for some weird reason. 
first off it's a ghost and then you need to get the sylph scope and then once you have the sylph scope it still doesn't allow you to catch it Oh man, this thing can duck. Uh, well, tackle down. It's gonna fail anyway. <laughs> it missed. Oh yeah, because it's flying. I forgot Gyarados is a flying type. See? He is flying. He can't catch it. Let's see if I can kill Ekans with a confusion. Ooh, it's pretty effective though. Pound. That's gonna be effective on me as well. And I'm potioned. Oh no. Slap. Slap the crap out of Ekans. Imagine if the Pokemon anime was like this, like literally a guy to battle on, uh, around every corner. Ash would still be in Pelotown after se season 4. There we go. Almost forgot. There's a little patch of uh, grass here, but I already caught a Spiro here, so. So many Pokemon trainers here, man. Unbelievable. Did I already beat this guy? Yeah, I did. How about this guy? Ha ha ha! Aren't you a little toughy? Bum bum ba da bum 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 bum. Hiker wants to fight. Hiker sends out a Geo dude. Oh well, yeah, I forgot these things can self-destruct. No joke. Maybe not this one though. The other one was level twenty. Let's see. Gonna put in someone with a lot of defense. Ooh, I thought it said self-destruct there for a second. What a gun. See ya. Uh, we haven't seen a evolved form of Machop yet. We haven't seen any Machop or Machamp. Is it, I think wasn't wasn't it Generation Two or was it no I think it's Generation Two. You can get a red a red Gyarados in the lake, so that's an instant Gyarados in Gen Two as well. If you can catch it, of course. I mean, it's near the end. I know it's after like gym six or something. It's quite far. I know you go there with Lance, the dragon trainer. But I think it was generation two. Rock Troll. That would have hurt my uh, Gyarados. There we go. Water Gun. See ya, G dude. Fish Rig grew to level 27. Flowers defeated Hiker. What's that? Flowers got 700 for winning. Yeah, gold, I know. Gold and silver. You first start in Johto and then you go back to Kanto, or the other way around, no. I, I, uh, okay, that's okay though. 
That's what I loved about gold, though, that you could go back to the other... Um, you could do... You can do 16 gems in gold. That's pretty cool. I'm not sure if it had two Elite Fours. I don't remember. Like two uh, Pokemon Leagues. Look, it's Hammer Cat. Wow, pretty powerful. But it, ha it was a crit after all. There we go. You can... It's the Battle of Bite. Flowers defeated Junior Trainer. Take that. No, you're too much. I know. Okay, I know if we go here, we can't yet, but if we surf down here, we'll end up at the electricity plant where Zapdos is. And I could actually cheese it, Rick. We don't have to be we don't have to worry about Voltorps. I could just repel repel all my way all the way to Zapdos. I wouldn't encounter a single random Pokemon. And then I could catch Zapdos if I wanted to. Here again, Rick, here's another one of those bugs. It already says I'm on Route 10. We haven't even gone through the rock tunnel yet, so here's another one of those dilemmas, if you will. So where does it change color? It doesn't. So, is this Route 10 or Route 9? See, this is already Route 10, so this is a new Pokemon, this patch of grass. And where's Route 9? This is Route 9. It doesn't do a good job of tracking which route you're on, to be honest. Route 9? Route 9? This must be Route 10, then. Yeah. And then this might be still Route 9. Yeah, so okay, so root, this is Route 9. This is Route 10. Well. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the grass, I think. Um, there's an Ekans. We don't have Ekans yet. There's a Sentru. We don't have Sentru yet. And there's a Voltorb. We don't have Voltorb yet. There's five Pokemon, and out of the five, I don't have three yet, so that's a pretty good chance. Let's go. There could be a Rattata or a Spiro as well. It's a Voltorb, nice. Please do not blow up on me. Just to be sure, I'm gonna send Marcus out. Start throwing Pokeballs! Well... I could sleep it, but this thing might no self-destruct, man. And I don't want to use... I mean, if it self-destructs, so be it. But I don't want to lose my Drowsy. <laughs> I'd rather have Drowsy than this Pokeball. But I cut it anyway. If I had to choose... Any of my Pokemon beside Marcus and Gyarados, then it would be Drowsy, Sleepy, Wakey, whatever his name is. <laughs> Alright, we got it. I don't think it flees though. New Pokedex was added. Will be added for Voltorb. A life form whose identity is unknown. It is sad to suddenly use Screech or self destruct. Yeah, I know. 
That's what I was afraid of. Okay, what do we name this guy? What do we want to name it, Rick? Pokeball? Or we could use a Pokeball, like the food. Which one do you want? Pokeball or Pokeball? Uh, capital B. Okay, let's change it. Uppercase B. Do not enter. Do not enter what? You mean that's his name? Do not enter? You always hit enter when we talk. Okay. Yeah. Well, I thought that was your final decision, huh? I need 13 seconds per chat. Okay, so what's your final answer then? Pokeball's good, but don't hit enter when we only got one name. Haha, <laughs> you talk faster than Facebook drops the chat. Alright, gonna go with Pokeball then. Yeah, I know there's a slight delay in that, unfortunately. I always... Th that seems to be a common thing whenever we're, whenever I'm on a stream with another... When I'm on your stream or on Jake's stream, there's like usually somewhere between 5 to 15 second delay. Got a Pokemon Center here. Let's heal up a little bit. We got, uh, Voltorb could use Flash as well now, by the way. So we got Butterfree, Voltorb, or, uh... I'm gonna use Butterfree, though. Because that's probably the one I'm not gonna use. I heard that ghost hunt Lavender Town. It sold... I sold a useless nugget for 5,000. Good job, man. What about you? Stop running away. The element types of Pokemon make them stronger than some types, and weaker than others. We're gonna go to Bill's PC. We're gonna drop. Uh, I want Wakey. We're gonna drop Flower Butt, I guess. Pidgeotto. Cowret. I'm gonna drop Cowret for now. And then I want. Captain Jack, Diglett, Hammercat, Cowret. Change box. Get Butterfree. That was Killbuck. There we go. Let's see if it can learn Flash. 
I have my doubts, but it would be nice. It cannot. Okay, then I definitely do not want to give it to Wakey either. Since I'm not a huge fan of Voltorb, I will give Flash to Voltorb, because I might not use Voltorb, even though it's electric. Is that okay? Change boxes. No? Pause it. So Butterfree... Butterfree cannot learn Flash. But Pokeball should be able to. And now we can see as well if he already learned self-destruct. So did I get lucky in capturing him? That's what I was wondering. No, okay, he doesn't know self-destruct yet. So I'm gonna teach you another useless skill. There we go. Pokeball learned flash. Sorry, I had to respond to a message there. Um, deposit item, yeah. So, TM30. TM42. I'm also gonna put the old Ember in there for now. The HM as well. I think that's all. Yeah, that's all I want to put in there for now. I did heal up my Pokemon, didn't I? I did, okay. There's one more trainer here. I think she had a Pikachu and a Clefairy, both very cool Pokemon. I've been in the Pokemon gym a few times, but I lost each time. Junior trainer wants to fight. Yeah, she she still has to Pikachu. That was the same in yellow, man. Let's see if Wakey can take this guy on. Hypnosis. Come on, Hypno. There we go. Now we can take our time killing Pikachu. Yay. It already woke up. Wow, that was useless. Don't thunder wave my drowsy. Nice, it's fast asleep, finally. Uh, confusion. There we go. See, Drowsy can kill them on his own now. Clefairy. This will be a battle of hypnosis here. Hypnosis versus Sing. Fall asleep, will ya? There we go. Clefairy has a lot of HP. I remember Clefairy, Clefable, Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff. They're both like HP tanks. They're like generation 1 mil tank.
Junior Trader. Oh, blew it again. Flowers got 400. This is the famous rock tunnel. Yep. Let's save before we enter the tunnel. 